Good Friday morning, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. But since we were torn away from you, brothers, for a short time, in person, not in heart, we endeavor the more eagerly and with great desire to see you face to face. Because we wanted to come to you, I, Paul, again and again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming? Is it not you? For you are our crown and joy. Paul had deep feelings toward the Thessalonian church, and being torn away from them suggests a strong emotional connection. Satan hindered Paul from seeing these people that he loved so dearly. Clearly, Paul believed in a personal tempter. Satan is identified here as an adversary to God's people. Repeatedly, Satan actually succeeded in hindering Paul's holy efforts. That this is an emotionally driven passage is seen in Paul's switching back and forth between the singular and the plural. We wanted to come, I, Paul, for what is our hope? This hindering of Satan affected not just Paul, it affected Silas and Timothy as well. Each of these godly men had skin in the game. They, they were vested in these people and their relationship to the Lord Jesus. Still, they were all joyful in view of what they hoped for, a crown that they could brag about. Ancient athletes, they competed for a crown, a, a wreath of victory. Paul says that the Thessalonian converts were his crowning achievement, his prize. Paul and Timothy and Silas would not stand alone before the Lord Jesus at his coming. But their converts, and, and not only the converts in Thessalonica, but all their spiritual children were like a, a wreath of victory, a crown on their heads. So, why did Paul feel so intimately connected to these converts? Why did being hindered from seeing them sting so badly? It was not because these were his golfing buddies. It was because these were his spiritual children. See, the takeaway for me this morning in this passage is, I don't want to appear before Christ at his coming alone. When Christ returns, I want to be able to say, here I am, Jesus, and look who I brought with me. I can think of no greater motivation to persevere in prayer and Christian service than that all who are dear to us will appear with us at the Lord's return. My spiritual son, Tino, will be there when Christ returns. I won him to Jesus last month. My spiritual grandson, Jaden, he'll be there. Logan brought him to faith just two weeks ago. These are my crown and glory. Lord, Add to our number daily those who are being saved. Lord, you see how Satan has hindered us. Help us not to waver in our Christian service as the fear of dying hangs over our world like a cloud. Jesus, you came that we could have life and have it to the full. Let your life be seen in me today. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.